Hey, it's me again. Um, just uh, finished up with uh, doing tutorial number eight, rendering eight for cat-like coding, and uh, this one was uh, concerning reflection pro probes. And um, I don't know, I had a little bit of a hard time with this one just because it was built for Unity 5.4. And I think a lot of things that uh, he covered in this tutorial were um, definitely not up to uh, par with the 10.0s uh, being the latest. Um, we still had uh, I had some issues when it comes down to right about here with uh, getting the uh, reflections to to work in the uh, in the way that they're supposed to and everything. So I think it's going to take. Uh, a little bit more playing with it in order to basically uh, figure out um, what's going on with it. So in any case, um, here's the scene itself. I rebuilt it from scratch. I know he could, he has the Unity packages, but I like the practice of uh, going through and creating the scenes and everything. Here's the source code, and this little uh, thing is just for toggling light switches and everything. And the actual project itself. Which, <laughs> damn it, uh, wrong one. Let's uh, try this again. Rendering eight. What's going on? I'm just gonna. You're gonna have to bear with me one second. I'll let you see that I'm not perfect. So I'm gonna go through and rebuild the uh, Unity project itself. I messed up on the build settings, and yeah, I knew what happened with that one. Build. I had uh, built for the um, the previous one, not the uh, newest one. So I'm doing all of these all in a row, one through eight, if you can't tell. Not the fastest thing in the world on this machine, but this isn't the uh, greatest of development machines. Still good. So let's do this. Make sure that's up full screen. Make sure we're sending that, which we are. Good. Okay, that looks much better. So, here's the scene. I jazzed this one up a little bit too. I was just playing. I saw some of the uh, things that he did with the coloring and the discoloring. And uh, also the bump map things that he was doing. So I just thought, hey, let's go ahead and animate it. And one of the problems I was having was, um, if you could see, the reflections on the floor work except for that cube, or that uh, sphere, and um, clearly I'm animating it. I'm absolutely fascinated with that animation. I had fun with it. It's like it's breathing and changing color. I thought that was cool. Very clear. Yeah. But anyways, um, one of the problems that I had was, uh, if you see there's no reflection of the um, sphere in the uh, floor. Why that's going on, I actually use the standard probes, um, the standard texture, and um, the, uh, the uh, texture for, um, that he actually steps you through. And both of them produce the same results. So I know it has something to do with the mirrored texture on the uh, sphere. And even then, I put a, a normal sphere up off to the right-hand side over here, right there. And um, it reflected perfectly fine in the sphere, but when it came down to the uh, ground, it, it reflected, um, basically there's a re something called a reflection probe, and it just looks like shit. So I've got to work on my mirrors for the uh, um, flat surfaces. <laughs> I've got to do a lot of work on that. But in any case, um, I also played with the light settings on this one a little bit too, so that's like daylight, and then 
here's nighttime on type. I've got, uh, you can't see them, but I've got three spotlights that are working down. You can see the reflection on the ground. So that's reflecting. That's what I was trying to test out was just, you know, what's going on with, with the reflections here. So I've got all those different spotlights are reflecting perfectly fine. That thing's casting a shadow, but it's just not reflecting the actual object itself which is kind of like, I don't know. So, in any case, here's the scene from the far. And then get up close. And then day. Night. Day. Night. I thought it was pretty cool. So anyways, that's it for today. I'm done.